very well played as well. I think the problem in this piece, in this particular ballad, is there are so many moments where, where Chopin writes these single page of G, 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 G. Mm. And the risk is that you lose your melody a little bit because of the accents. Yeah. And I think if you keep in mind that the accents are not really an accent in itself, but they, they go on actually. And of course the problem is that sometimes the left hand has things to do that <laughs> you actually didn't want it to do. <laughs> but there you are, you can't help it. But it's, uh, well, we'll get to that. I think the beginning is really beautifully played. I always find an important moment is between the, four, the fourth and the fifth bar. Okay. It's, it's like a, you start telling a fairy tale, once upon a time there was, and the actual fairy tale starts at bar nine when you've got this introduction. So you get the <laughs> That chord there, because it goes deep, for me it needs a little bit more time between the fourth and the fifth bar. Just a normal, natural phrasing. And then maybe I would actually at the end of the fourth bar go just take it away a little bit. up energy here at the end because you've got such a beautiful introduction now and then, a <laughs> then that comes finally as a big surprise okay. so yeah just to uh, phrase it off there at the end a little bit more find with Chopin, sometimes he puts so many notes in one bar that you don't know where to put them. And then at the same time he always says let your left hand be the conductor and your right hand be free. Mm -hmm. So maybe I think if you need a lot of time at the end of, of a bar like this, prepare it a little bit I would say that you get here. <laughs> If you stay in tempo until here, then suddenly the change in tempo is so obvious. Okay. So if you prepare it a little bit more, it becomes more uh, natural. it gets a sort of melodic uh, function, maybe your 16s are a bit too short. I would say make it a bit more mellow, the rhythm. But this was much better, your two. section here, this second or the third ballad, it's, it's, to me it, it leans very much against the, the bar carole in, in character as well. And I think you're sitting here in a gondola, but the way you're playing your 16s, I mean you're about to <laughs> keel over. And <laughs> so maybe keep it a little bit maybe more lilting. It's now sort of lazy rhythm, I would say. It's better, but I have this idea that your rhythm is 
is still a little bit uncontrolled. You go, oh. yes, it's one boop. I think give it a give it a melodic uh, function, maybe. Uh, well, maybe can you start once somewhere here? Adrian, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually here. What I hear a little bit with you is. Exaggerate now, yeah. but I think it's a bit more friendly, maybe. difficult you take less time <laughs> you go take time for that jump It's it's just when it gets to this uh, that that's where it it starts to uh, work against the melody a little bit too much. So I'll just just play from here to get into. can do to make it easier to play and also to listen for to is you get ja ti ja ja da you wait a little bit too long between them okay if you get then it falls apart into little lego blocks to the fortissimo theme when you sing something extremely loud it always takes more time than when you sing it softly and I think it's the same when you play the, the music needs time to to sound in the air so don't be too fast there just take your time Want 
question help? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh well. <laughs> a little bit of air between the notes. Dolce, I think you can take more time for all this. You're sort of feeling a bit squeezed, and I have to be there. Okay. If you, I can't play this. Very relaxed and, and, and lush. Actually, go with your uh, sort of one of the waltzes. Fine. Sostenuto, sostenuto. <laughs> yeah, I think you still feel this urge to feel <laughs> hand suffers from the left hand. <laughs> I hear now too much. <laughs> I think the left hand should follow the right hand and not the other way around. Can you try that? It's also when you, uh, it becomes like a tango. <laughs> it 
Keep it young, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it young. Yeah, but still, but can you, since it was so nice, can you do it again? Uh, can you hit the tone? <laughs> yeah, it's maybe <laughs> even better. <laughs> spotted one thing and I think when a composer writes an accent on a syncopation that's tied over like it for me it means that the note is extended a little bit so don't come too soon with what's following Just make the note as if it has a crescendo in it. Okay. Yeah. Well, there is an accent, of course, but <laughs> don't start your crescendo too soon. <laughs> And then, of course, what you've taken away in tempo, you have to give back in the rest of the bar. Here, when you get uh, this, le 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 the left hand, I think once you've played a chord, you forget all about that and you're concentrated here. And I'd say, Oh, yeah, it's not one thing. But can you try to follow the melody with your ear? can still for me be every note that is a syncopation should not be very late but it takes time to go that you have this feeling of pushing against the bar like yeah that was good that you have to coordinate it with your right hand unfortunately <laughs> Otherwise it becomes a little bit like an A to the making music in the melody team. And sometimes in these things that are a bit awkward and, and not very easy to play, it helps if you concentrate on the musical meaning of, of the things rather than the technical. Oh, it is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> 
a musical meaning rather than just being <laughs> yeah no but it makes such a difference and it, 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 it really makes it ten times better if you, if you give the melody a bit of shape there yeah and this this whole section here the sotto voce it is really one big build up for the the big theme at the end so keep it keep it sort of a little bit mysterioso there's a fashion when you get to that. It's, it's very creepy and... Yeah, maybe I would here suggest not to be too active. it goes down to almost nothing. in the last sort of eight bars not enough this suddenly comes out as a fortissimo surprise but everyone should be sitting there yeah here it is <laughs> you have to really and i think it happens in these last eight bars can you maybe start in here top of the page This was the build up was much, much better. It's just that I think this last bar before the fortissimo, if you could even hold that back a little bit, it works ten times as much. This yeah, it's, um, 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 um. it's the same what you do here further up, and that that works absolutely brilliant. Yeah. 
But I think the whole build-up was you shouldn't stop in your crescendo, just go on and on and on. But that was great. I have this idea, uh, you don't do it at all now, the alargando here, but I think it might a little bit wouldn't go amiss if you <laughs> because it's this this modulation suddenly from uh, yeah what is it A major to A flat which is quite uh, a step although it's only a tiny <laughs> S maybe start once again at your uh, <laughs> I think there is here this one moment where it suddenly you got this this train which you have a lot with Chopin these these suddenly as if you missed the last step of a stairs. <laughs> I think you I don't know what you should do there, but you have to somehow show that it, it's a special moment. So can you convince me if you start yeah start start maybe once again here. But suddenly you get ooh, there's something special going on there. There's there's one thing still in your uh, fortissimo melody. I hear <laughs> you sort of bump down on this D flat. I think it's <laughs> for me it's a bar that actually curves a little bit and comes out again in the fourth bar. I think the first time you still were quite uh, positive on your third bar. Don't give an accent, I think that's the only thing you have to remember. You get because in itself it's not a very, very dramatic harmony. It, it, it's one of the weaker, that is much more uh, positive. So maybe you can do the f first, the second and the fourth bar, but the third bar just be a little bit generous, friendly. friendly. stage here at the I wouldn't be too too decent no it's yeah but 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 I mean it's the end of a quite dramatic piece more 
what to say. Otherwise, it's so ticket. <laughs> Otherwise, you can also hear that you take different. It, sh it should be just one waterfall of notes. <laughs> Yeah, I think that that's very. There was one thing here when you get. Maybe don't be too fast on these these sixteenth notes because the ear needs a little bit of time to hear it. Otherwise, I'll let it I would because it's it's quite big. The sound it it needs a little time. If you can even manage to make a crescendo on this, then that is absolutely perfect. Yeah. I, th I think it's something like that. Yeah. But I think this works very well. So, well, be four minutes, but very nice. And, and thank you very much. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah.